Stop the FOMO. You prefer missing out on a 75 inch TV that is both good, well, very good, but affordable? We're talking about the best 75 inch TV for $1,500. Now, why $1,500? Why not a thousand? Because there are plenty of 75 inch TVs for under a thousand, right? And, or why not over two? Why $1,500? I believe this is the sweet spot, the point of diminishing returns. Specifically, at $1,500 or just under, say $1,300 to $1,500, these TVs are the best in their class for their use case. Now, if you own a TV that has it all, well, it sky's the limit, right? Go ahead and pay $3,000, then you'll have a little bit of everything. But if you wanna save a little bit of money, know your use case and then get the TV that does that use case really well. So today, let's get into the three best TVs for just under $1,500. But first, let me introduce today's sponsor, WhoKeys. Yep, you just finished your big old PC Windows build. You have the best of the best. And sadly, you have less than $20 to your name. WhoKeys to the rescue. Use my code SF20 and immediate discount. Let's quickly go through the activation process after you've purchased Windows 10 on WhoKeys. Go to your WhoKeys account and select My Purchased Orders. See your order? To the far right, click on the button that says View Keys Codes to see the Windows CD code. At the bottom of this order where it says Code Card, to the right is the product key you need to activate Windows. So copy this long number, then go to the Windows menu and click on Settings. In the Settings menu at the bottom, select update and security select activation then select change product key paste what you copied from who keys click next click activate and you're done you can download the windows 10 pro key and you're up and running but that's not all folks who keys has keys for games too steam origin you play you name it you got it check out their sites there are discounts for all sorts of stuff and most importantly you want to be productive what about office suite yep you can download a copy of office professional with my code sf20 at checkout and bam we'll start with the hdr use case specifically you're streaming watching movies and you want to try the best in hdr performance that is editor's choice hisense u8h at the 75 inch size. Now, if you saw my review, I reviewed the 65 inch size. It was amazing. It actually beat out Samsung's flagship TVs, the Q90B, Q95B, and Q900B 8K 65 inch TV. In the use case of HDR movie content, the U8H matches it blow by blow. Now, obviously it isn't perfect, but we're talking the use case where you are watching HDR content, quality HDR, whether it's Netflix or Disney Plus or Blu-ray Disc, HDR performance is phenomenal. Now keep this in mind, this is so important. It may already be sold out <laughs> by the time you watch this video. So have to put it out there, start with it first. Check Best Buy if this TV is of interest to you, meaning you want the best HDR performance and you're willing to pay a little extra, that $1,500 to get best in class HDR performance, Check Best Buy right now. It's currently available as of this morning for $14.99. And the reason I say you have to check right away is this. Before Black Friday was even over, it sold out, well, it sold out weeks before even Black Friday started this year because the inventory on the 75 inch U8H, there's not a lot of them. And for this price, easily one of the best HDR performing TVs out there. And if you're watching sports in a bright room, in a dark room, it doesn't matter. The U8H is easily one of the best sports watching TVs because in the brightest rooms, the UAH gets very bright. As a matter of fact, it gets as bright as flagship bright TVs like the Samsung Q900B or the Sony X95K or the Samsung Q90B, the UAH brightness right there with them. But as we love to say, no TV is perfect. There are three things this TV does not do as well as other TVs. First, Gaming features. Yes, you could game on it. If you do Switch, you're a casual gamer, it looks fine. But if you're looking at the best in 4K 120, VRR, Dolby Vision Gaming, this TV will not be as good as the LG or even the Sony or Samsung alternatives. Secondly, if you want to watch internal apps and you need Dolby Vision to be knockout perfect, this TV will not do Dolby Vision as well with internal apps. Thus, 
the Roku stick solves it. Now, personally, I prefer the Roku stick because, well, it's affordable, it's great. Most importantly, all the various platforms, right? Netflix, HBO Max, Disney, on this stick looks great. HDR, SDR, you can enable Dolby Vision, disable it, it doesn't matter. You can have your choice of the format you want on Roku. Now, the Fire Stick is great, but I think it's better for a prime video. It's UI is not as easy to manage as this, but up to you. As long as you have your streaming content on a stick or some external streamer device, then your TV, the UAH, will look phenomenal because you don't have to worry about any inconsistencies with the internal apps. But if you don't want to use a Roku stick or any external streamer, you just want to use the TV as is with its own internal apps, well, we might have to look at the second alternative, specifically the LG QNED 83, which is essentially last year's QNED 90, repurposed, repackaged this year as the QNED 83 or QNED 83, 75-inch size, also $14.99. So what the UH doesn't do as well, gaming features, processing, posterization issues, this TV addresses it is a gaming TV. It's LG's gaming TV. It does VRR, 4K 120, looks great. Doesn't have the fake 4K 120 issue, the resolution, half resolution issue some people complain of. Now, if you need 4K 120 Dolby Vision, then you'll have to up your budget to the QNED 85, which is a few hundred dollars more. That's why I'm saying at 1500, so you don't get Dolby Vision 4K 120, right? But again, no TV is perfect. What is it missing? Well, definitely specular highlights falls way short of the UAH. Contrast is not going to be as good as the UAH. In a dark room, the UAH will have better blooming performance, and in sports, it will not get as bright. So these are small little shortcomings, but again, use case. If you need gaming features to be a lot more baked in, solid, predictable, then the QNED 83 or the QNED 83 is the TV for you, right? Gaming features are the priority or working gaming features are the priority and image processing will be a bit more consistent. You're not gonna have those complaints about posterization or color batting with the QNED 83, but contrast suffers a little bit false, just a little bit short and specular highlights will not be as bright. Meaning in a scene where you have dark areas and bright little points of light, the UAH will be noticeably Writer, and that's the strength of UAH, HDR, QNED 83, gaming. But let's say you don't need HDR. You're like, wait a minute, I'm a purist. Why do I want HDR? Ah, that's gimmicky. Then enter the Sony X90K for SDR for movie purists, where you think HDR doesn't even look better to me. The X90K nails it because Sony brings in their better color accuracy. They have excellent color gradients, shadow detail. It isn't as bright as the U8H, and its gaming features aren't as well-baked as the QNED 83, but if you don't care about HDR, you just want great motion, great processing, because it's not gonna have any posterization issues, right? Then the Sony X90K is for you. So the question then, too long didn't read, who are these TVs for? The U8H is for the HDR enthusiasts who love streaming, has high quality content, and they want that pop. And in a bright room, sports nails it. For the gaming enthusiasts, well, the QNED 83, they have all of that. And if you don't care about HDR, you want solid SDR, you want to be able to tweak your motion perfectly, then the Sony X90K, or if you came from a Sony, you gotta stay with the Sony because you're used to its image color science. But let's say your budget is only $1,000, for a 75 inch TV. What TV would I recommend? Well, for HDR movies, which is my preference, I need a TV to perform well in HDR. The Hisense U7H is the only 75 inch TV for under $1,000 that nails HDR. All the other TVs that are 75 inch under 1,000 does not do HDR as well. Specifically, specular highlights simply are not bright enough. The U7H 
is the brightest of the HDR TVs for under a thousand dollars. If you want that pop, right, that dynamic range, but do you disagree? Is 1500 a point of diminishing returns for 75 inch TVs? What brands am I missing? What models do you have in mind? And I did not address in this video. Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, stop the FOMO.